What's up gang? Today I'm really excited to show you the mods that we did to the bottom half of the new Hoth ATST. So originally I wasn't actually going to do too many mods to the bottom half in terms of adding posability. I was just going to do the normal mod that we've all done from the past few years of flipping this Technic piece up how it is now so you can bend the legs forward. But that didn't quite give us any ankle posability so it really couldn't walk. But after buying another Hoth ATSC, I didn't really actually want to put it together, so I went ahead and used the pieces on that to modify this ATST to give it some extra posability. So I went ahead and gave it a shot, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now the main mods all take place around this ankle region here where I've added an ankle joint. Now it is the same hinge piece that's used up here for this joint, but I went ahead and kept this structural arm on the back here and then the structural arm going through the ankle because it is accurate to the ATST in universe. Now the way this Technic hinge is connected to this foot is actually pretty similar to how that one big strut was connected originally on the set. So I went ahead and took off that foot piece here and you can see it's that same brick that's used originally on the set. Now I made mine a gray one. Now it isn't visible from the outside so you can keep the red ones that come originally but I went ahead and changed it to gray just for personal preference. But it is just connected to that piece with a red Technic axle going through and then another Technic axle going through these bricks here. So while we're on the foot, we can go ahead and take a look at the work I did to help blend these Technic hole pieces into the foot. Now I didn't do the best job, but it is going to be pretty hard to hide those bricks. So I think I did okay. I didn't want to put anything on this stud up here because this stud is going to be exposed no matter what. You can't place anything on that. So I went ahead and just left the top one empty. But I tried to slope up to it as best as I could. And overall, I don't think it looks too bad. Now I'm sure you guys can see on this other foot back here, we do have this Technic piece that's going through the ankle here. This is purely for looks. This actually has no effect on the posability. This is just a strut I added on to make it look more accurate to the ATST in universe. So enough talking about the extra posability. I guess I just better show you guys. And you guys can already see in the way that it stands, it is just slightly different from the original set. But I will go ahead and put it in a walking stance so you guys can take a look at what that looks like. So now you can see we have it in a little bit of a walk. It has one foot before the other. And you can go just a little bit more extreme with it if you want to. So when it's in this position, it is a little bit more fragile because it isn't very well supported on this corner back here, so it will tend to tip that way, but you can have it at a little bit more of an extreme walk angle, and then we can go ahead and stand them back up normally. So I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase of these extra posability mods, and because I think people are going to ask, I'm going to go ahead and provide a tutorial in this video here. I'm going to show the process on one foot, and then you can just replicate it for the other side. Alrighty guys, so on the right side here we have an unmodified ATST foot and on this left side here is all the extra pieces you will need to modify this foot. Now we will repurpose some of the bricks that are already on here so don't immediately throw away anything we take off. The first thing we're going to do is flip up that foot plate like we did before to showcase the internals and we're just going to go ahead and take it all out as well as this entire sloped assembly with the clip bit. Go ahead and just take this off and set it to the side. Now go ahead and just lift from the Technic strut to take out this red bit and let's take off this extra strut on this back side here. We can let that dangle and then just pull off the entire Technic strut. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and remove this blue Technic axle. Once we have that axle out, we're gonna go ahead and take off this tile plate on the back side. Go ahead and set it aside and this furthest left Technic pin, we're gonna go ahead and take that out and put that in this empty slot. and then use this black Technic pin that you use to do that and go ahead and put it in this bottom empty slot so it looks like this and reapply your tile like it was before. Now on this dangling bit here, this furthest left black Technic pin, go ahead and take that out. And then now we can move on to the assembly for this foot. Take these two Technic pinhole bricks, take your Technic axle going through it, and go ahead and take this ankle joint here and put it through this pinhole right here. Make sure you get your other side on there. And then go ahead and put this overhang piece right here to cover up this Technic axle from coming out. And go ahead and do the same for this brick on the furthest left side. So now this uh, hinge is permanently in there. Now let's go ahead and assemble these slopes with this one by one. We're gonna go ahead and make two of these. And then we can take these slope bits and apply them onto the ankles here. And then from here, let's go ahead and peel a few pieces off this foot to apply the ankle joint. Firstly, we're going to remove these pointed bits here on both sides, as well as the cheese wedge on the back, and we're going to replace these right here. And then the last thing we have to do is this furthest back plate, 
push it back one stud, and then we had two dark gray jumpers. Go ahead and apply that in these empty spaces here. And then this one by four that's half studded, half not, go ahead and apply these cheese wedges on the two studs. And we'll go ahead and apply that on the back of the foot right here. Now we're ready to apply our ankle. So it is a little tricky. Go ahead and take your Technic axle piece. I did actually have it in the wrong spot earlier. You're gonna put it in this closest pinhole here. And then go ahead and get the other side on there. And then place it in like that hinge was in there before. This is the equivalent of the red brick that we used earlier, so go ahead and place that in the exact same spot as it was before. Now we can put our foot covering back on, reapply the greebling, and this little bit of Technic, uh, this little Technic clip on this other clip bit with the bar piece, go ahead and insert that into this power miner's arm and fold it down onto the hinge bit to help cover it up. Now take your whole ATST leg and these two black Technic pins on here are going to go into these two furthest bottom pinholes right here. So it should look like so. And then go ahead and flip it around and then this dangling Technic arm, go ahead and apply it in the pinhole here so it's that extra strut going through. And then you have successfully modified both your ATST legs. Alrighty guys, so based on this video and my last Hoth ATST mod video, we have successfully made a more accurate looking head and as well more poseable legs. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed making these and I was super excited when I finally figured out that ankle joint. It was super tricky in the beginning, but I'm glad we're finally done and I'm super happy with the outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are excited to make it on your ATST and let me know any mods or alternate builds you guys want to see in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Peace fellas.